this is Moskar Vlog and today you are joining me on a really crazy video. This is the Lamborghini Huracan STO in this absolute amazing spec. We have Viola Passive accents here and the color is Verde Skandal. The STO is the super Huracan if you say so. This car also doesn't have a trunk. You can only fit a helmet in there. It's not really accessible. You have to remove the whole panel to access the trunk. And it's really for race for the track use. This is also rear wheel drive. The Huracan Evo Performante, they are all all wheel drive. And this is rear wheel drive. And this spoiler at the back produces 445 kilograms of downforce, which is insane if you ask me. So let's start off at the front. We have the STO written here with the Italian badge. And you can see the air intake in here. Right now you can't see it because of my shadow, but here you can see the air intake. So this, they removed the trunk, so they have these air intakes here, which is all for track use, which is really insane. The front here is also open. You can see the radiators there. They collect a lot of stone chips. Look at the radiator. It's also, it, it's, yeah, because it's so low. As you can see here, there is a stone or something or dirt or some, yeah, a flower. But this is really low and the Viola Pacifier accent is so amazing. Just look at it here in the sun. So we have the normal Huracan lights, we know them, carbon fiber heat extractors from the wheels. So the hot air from the brake and stuff goes out here. As you can see, there's like a little net inside, yeah, and the hot air comes out. We have beautiful wheels here, center lock wheels, black carbon ceramic brakes, really nice design to this Huracan STO wheels. And on the side, we also have another intake. This car is full of intakes, of crazy intakes, as you can see. Here is another one and we have a roof scoop here. This is full of intakes and aerodynamically functionable because this is for track use. So I will now show you the trunk of this car, which is called the Kofango because it's a mix of hood and fender. This is one part and you have to open the whole thing to access your little helmet trunk. And I will show you now how to do it. So how you access the Kofango is with this little thing, it's inside and you put it here, as you can see, you put it here, this is like a little, like a lock mechanism and then you turn it to the side, now you see the white saying it's open and then you press it and now it's open and I've opened it already on the other side and let's open it now together and <laughs> look at this and this is how the STO looks with the Kofanga open. The light is in here, you can see the whole headlight, how it's working, how it's fixed and everything, the part number and this is the carbon hood of the Huracan STO. This is for the headlights and this is how this thing looks opened. I will now show it to you. Just look at this. This looks like a transformer, ladies and gentlemen. The Huracan STO is absolutely crazy. Just look how it looks open. This is insane. We can also open another thing with this little key right here, which is our roof scoop at the back. We can open it up and have a look at the engine. So let's do that now. So people, moving on to the side of the Huracan STO, we have the crazy roof scoop here. And this panel is also removable, so we can access the 5.2 naturally aspirated v10 producing 640 horsepower this thing sounds insane this thing is really fast and i will show it to you when we are driving but now let's remove this panel to have a look at the v10 you access the roof panel also like on the front you have to unlock this thing and then you can remove the whole panel i will show it to you now so people we've opened up these locks here and now we are going to open this up because this has a mechanism we need two people for it so people, now after work and figuring out how this works, this is the golden naturally aspirated V10. As you can see, it's directly behind you. And this thing, look, just look at it, the golden V10. And this is our exhaust system, actually. That's why this car is so loud. There is no, there is no room for silencers. It's just completely loud and mental. This is it, the V10. So people, moving on to the back of the Huracan STO, we have this amazing looking spoiler with this shark fin right here. Just look at it, the carbon shark fin. This car weighs around 1,500 kilo and this spoiler has around 450 kilograms of downforce, which is crazy if you think about it. Just look at this here, how much space we have here open. We can see the whole exhaust system through here if you actually look inside. And the wheel here is opened and we have the STO written here. 
And this is also the exhaust system with the silence. It's so crazy how this car is from the back. Just look at it from here. Such an insane diffuser as well. I can't wait to take it out for a drive. So people, I would suggest that we jump inside now and then show you the inside and after that take it for a drive. So people, let's now jump inside. We open up the door like this, we press this and then we can just open it like a normal door. We have a whole complete carbon door. Just look at this. We have this red thing here to open up the door and with the black thing we close the door. The interior, the owner made it really, really unique. We have the Verde Skandal, even in leather on the seat, the Verde Skandal stitching, and then purple, pink STO accents on the seat. STO written, Lamborghini in the headcrest. Insane spec. So people, also we've got the pink 12 o'clock marker here, the pink or purple STO here written. We have the digital screen, we have a green start stop thing here the owner spec that it's individually to have this green normally it does not come in green let's fire up the ignition and have a look at this screen here we also have a cup holder here which opens up like this and let's have a look at the screen here we know it from the huracan evo this is digital and touch we can access the things like our navigation the car looks really futuristic we have a huracan sto in here looking so so good we can change things like the lights and the basic stuff basically and we have a navigation, our media and stuff like that in here. So other than that everything here is carbon, Alcantara or leather similar to the Urus Performante but here it's matte carbon also and it's so beautiful even this here is Alcantara, do you see that and the Verde Scandal matching stitchings are insane. This is our steering wheel, we have the STO mode which is street, we have the Trofeo which is like the race mode and we have Pioggia which is for rain. So I suggest we take it out for a drive. Seats are not electrical, we adjust them like this. Yep, let's take it out for a drive now. So people, let's now take the Huracan STO out for a drive. Let's put it into the automatic and take it out for a drive to see how it will perform. So starting off this car is so insane, it's like a go-kart, it's really extreme feeling. I, I, I'm now open the window up a little bit so we hear it more, this crazy thing. The STO mode is the street mode, the comfortable one. The Trofeo is the race mode and the Pioggia is the rain mode. Let's put it into the Trofeo and listen to it a little bit. It's really silent when you are not giving it throttle actually, it's actually pretty doable. The shift pedals are really sharp, aluminium. It's matte black and it's like sharp to hold. It's, yeah, it's like really on pressing on metal, not like a shift pedal. What a sound. city automatic for the transmission and now it will be completely comfortable it's completely doable actually it's not a comfortable car it's not a like no it's no in no way possible a comfortable car I'm sitting in here like a go-kart I can see nothing out of the back it's really <laughs> it's not a daily car 
but it sounds insane it moves insane it's it's so nice to drive ladies and gentlemen and now i'll put it back into the trofeo mode this car steers so directly the sound is out of this world the performance everything the fun factor in this it's so crazy a true supercar honestly wow oh my god the bangs, everything. You can truly feel how the exhaust valves opens at four and a half thousand. Before that, it's closed. Look, and then here. Oh my God, the sound! What you can also clearly feel is the power building with the revs. It's not like a turbocharged car, the power comes with the RPMs. Whoa, Whoa people! I'm in heaven. Such a supercar experience. and banks are insane ladies and gentlemen this car feels so sporty to drive it's actually insane oh people oh my goodness let's let's listen to it with the windows up because i've tapped them down all the time oh. I can hear the engine from behind screaming all the time, revving. This is like a race car. This is not a sports car or anything. This is insanity. Lambo, what have you done? My god, this is so so crazy ladies and gentlemen. I literally don't know when I've had so much fun in a car. I can't remember. Oh my goodness! So people, this was my review of the Lamborghini Huracan STO. I hope you enjoyed this car as much as I did. 
and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.